In this video, we're going to look at translating a shape. Translations are one of the four transformations you'll come across. So we can have translations, we can have reflections, rotations, and enlargements. If we're translating a shape, we're simply moving it. Often, we're given a vector. So for example, now I might be given the vector one, two. This top number tells me what to do in terms of the X coordinate, and the bottom number tells me what to do in terms of the Y coordinate. If this number is positive, we're going to move to the right. If it's negative, we're going to move to the left. The bottom number tells me what I'm going to do in terms of the Y coordinate. So this is horizontal movement and this is vertical movement. If we have now a negative, we will be moving it down. If we have a positive, we will be moving it up. So if I wrote the vector now 3, negative 1, this is telling me to go right by 3, and then we're going to go down by 1. Of course, you can do that in any order. We might also write this now as a set of coordinates. So it would be 3, negative 1. You might see it written like so. If we had, for example, negative 2, and then we had 1, this is a vector. It's telling me to go left by 2, and then we're going to go up by 1. If I had, for example, now negative 1, 0, this is telling me that I'm going to go left by 1, and we're not going to move now in the vertical direction at all. So this is going to just now be staying where it is in terms of the Y coordinate. What we're going to do in the video is look at translating a shape given a translation. We're then going to look at describing a translation given the shape and where it's mapped to. So let's start off. We're asked to plot the points 1, 1, 2, 1 and 1, 2 and connect the dots to make a polygon. Often this won't be in the question, you'll already have a polygon drawn. So a polygon is simply a multi-sided shape. So 1, 1, the x coordinate is 1, the y coordinate is 1, that will go just there. 2, 1, the x coordinate is 2, the y coordinate is 1. Then we've got 1, 2. So the x coordinate is 1, the y coordinate is 2. So if we connect this up, what we're going to have is a little triangle. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just change the colour to make it easier to see. Uh, I think we'll go for that one. Hopefully that will give me now. There we go. So it looks something like so. So what we're going to do now is translate this shape. Remember, translating just means moving. So what we've got here now is a vector. So we've got 1, 2. This is telling me now to move to the right by 1. So we're going to move it right by 1. And then we've got the two, these are both positive, so it's going to be up and right, or right and up. One way that you can think about this is to simply pick the shape up and move it. I like to take a point, move that point, and redraw the shape. So we're going across one, and that's to the right, then we're going to go up by two. So this point is mapped to here, therefore this one is going to go just here, and this one is going to go just here and I would redraw it. So what we've got then is the following, and I'd use a ruler to draw that. So if this is shape A, we are now going to label this one up B. So the translation from shape A to B is 1, 2. If we were looking for the translation from shape B to A, it would simply now be the opposite. So we'd be going left by 1 and down by 2. So this one is A to B, and this one is B to A. So again, if we took this point, we would move left by 1 and down by 2. This point, left by 1 and down by 2. This point, left by 1 and down by 2. So we've gone ahead and carried out the transformation, and the transformation is a translation. We're asked to plot the points 1, 1, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2, and 3, 1, and connect the dots. So x is 1, y is 1. We've got x is 1, y is 3, which is just there. x is 2, y is 3, which looks to be there. Then we've got 2, 2, which is going to be here. We've got 3, 2, and then we've got 3, 1. 
So this is going to look like a little Tetris block and we can go ahead and connect that up. So let's just connect it up. So it looks something like that. So this is going to be shape A and we just need to label this up. And we're given now a vector to translate this and it's negative one, negative one. So it's going to move left by one and down by one. So if I took this spot right here, we've got left by one, which will take here, and then down by one. If you're confident to redraw it at this stage, go ahead, or alternatively, take another point, left by one, down by one, that will place here. If you want to take this point, left by one, down by one, and you will see it now that it simply maps to here. So if I wanted to do that one, I could go ahead and just connect it up. So what we'd have is something that looks like so. So do use a ruler and show clearly what you've done and label it up now as shape B. So we've got now the vector negative one, negative one, or if you like with coordinates, negative one, comma, negative one. So that now takes A to B. Of course, if we want to go from B to A, then we're going to have the opposite and it will be one, one. So this is going to go right by one and then we will go up by one. Let's look at another one. So we've got zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, and one, zero. So let's go ahead and do that. That is zero, zero. We've got one, one. We've got zero, one, which is just here. And we've got one, zero. So that's a nice little square and fairly straightforward. As stated, it will be uh, very rare that you have to actually draw these yourself. Generally, now they will be on there, labelled up shape A, and then you'll translate it accordingly. So translate, we see the word translate, that simply means move. We've got negative 4, 2. Left by 4, up by 2. So if we take a point now, let's take this point right here. We're going to go left by 4, which will take me just here, and then we're going to go up by 2. So all I've done is translated it like so. This one, we go left by four, and then we go up by two, which will take me just here. If you're comfortable to draw it now, just put the other vertices right here of the shape. If you like, you can just think to yourself, well, I'm gonna take this one here, I'm gonna go across four and up two, and then we simply draw that. So this one right here is going to be shape B, and we've translated it by the vector negative four, two. So let's do that and we'll put this on. So this one is going to be A, this one is going to be B. The coordinates would be negative four, two. And of course, if we wanted to go from B to A, so if we were mapping from B to A, it would be the opposite. And that would be four, two, uh, four negative two, sorry. So it's just the opposite because we're going to have to move right by four and then down by two. So that gives us that one. Let's look at another one. We've got one, three, one, one, two, one, and two, three. So let's go ahead. So one, three will be just here. We've got one, one, which will be here. We've got two, one, which will be here. And we've got two, three. So we've got a small rectangle, a two by one rectangle, and this is shape A. So let's go ahead and do that. Just move your mat into place. So this now is going to be shape A. Put in that like so, that like so. And then we need to translate this by one negative two. So this is going to go right by one, and then we're going to go down two. Remember, this is the x-coordinate, or if you like, the horizontal movement. This is the y-coordinate, or if you like, the vertical movement. So if I pick this point, we come here, and then we need to go down by two. So it's right by one, down by two. If you want to think about this one, right by one, down by two and then hopefully you should be able to draw it from that point here. So that now is going to give us shape B. We connect it up and clearly label it shape B. So that is performing a translation. We're given a translation to perform. We simply need to carry it out. So that's shape B. Okay, let's look at this example right here. Let's go ahead and draw a shape. So what I'm going to do is just draw up a shape and we'll just have now, uh, let's have a square. So what I'm going to have is a square like so, and it looks like a square on the paper. I'm going to label this up shape A. 
And what we're going to do is look at translating this. And we're going to translate like this. And we're going to have a vector now of 2. And then we're going to have now negative 2. Why I've done this one now is because I've altered the scale. If we look, this one is going in once. So the x-axis is going up in ones, but the y-axis is going up in twos. We need to be very careful. You might see these faint lines, and the common mistake, and let's just put these on, these are the lines, these are the grid lines. Common errors by students, in, particularly in exams, is that they just simply now move it as the squares show. But as we can see by the, the scale here, we're not actually going to be moving it by squares. We're going to be moving it according to the coordinates. So let's see what we're doing. We are moving right by 2. So if I take this point just there, let's grab this one. So we're going to move right by 2. So 1, 2. And that will take me to the point 4. If you like, you can consider the x-coordinate 2 and add 2 to it. Let's think about what's going to happen here. I'm going to now drop it by 2 or move it down by 2. And that is going to be just there. That's 2, remember. Although I've only gone down by one block or one square, one square represents 2. So we need to be careful here. So this point right here clearly is going to come to here. This point is going to map to here. And then this point is going to map to here. You can do this solely by coordinates. So, for example, now, if we look at this one right here, we've got 1, 2. Here, we've got 2, 2. We've got 2, 4. And then we've got 1, 4. So, it isn't really a square. It's just mapped on such that it looks like a square. So if we think about this now, what I could do is just consider where the coordinates go. So if I'm adding 2 and subtracting 2, so this now would take me to the point. This 1, 4, I could look at this now. And I'm going to be adding 2 to the x coordinates, which is going to give me 3. And I'm going to be subtracting 2 from the y coordinates, which is going to give me 2. So we can see it's 3, 2. This point right here, we've got the point 2, comma 2. We're going to be adding it now 2 to the x coordinate, which is going to give me 4. And we're going to be subtracting 2 from the y coordinate, which is going to give me 0. And we can see it's that point just now. So lots of different approaches. But do be careful in terms of the scale that we're given. We can see here that this is not a 1 to 1 ratio in terms of the scale. So let's label this up B, and we've now performed this particular translation. So that's carrying out translations. What we've got here is A and B. We would be asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps either shape A to B or shape B to A. So we need, and these are the words that you'll see in an exam, state fully the single transformation. So let's just jot that down. State fully. So say fully, it's a single, so the single, let's just make that a, a lower case, fully the single transformation, so transformation that maps A to B. We'll do A to B. Uh, transformation that maps, uh, that maps, let's try that to name, A to B. So the first thing that we would do is state now that this is a translation. With a translation, we will see that the shape has the same uh, for way of the orientation as such. With a square, it's often hard to see. But if with other shapes, for example, if this was a rectangle, it'd be easier to see. So the translation, there's going to be now no alteration in the size as it's a single transformation. We now need to state the translation that we're going to use. So if we pick this point here, that point has come down here. So we've gone right 1 and down by 2. We look at the scale. We can see that the scale is now a 1 to 1. So all we're going to do is write that this is a translation. And the vector that it's being translated by is positive 1, negative 2. So we can write 1 and then we'll have negative 2. 
So that is the single transformation that maps shape A to B. If you wanted to do the transformation that maps B to A, then it would be left 1 and up 2, and we would use the vector now, negative 1, positive 2, as we know that that is going to be the opposite. So there we go, that's translating a shape. We're simply moving it, given either a vector or a pair of coordinates. Do check that the scales are correct, and we're going to be able to, uh, need to be able to perform the translation and also describe the transformation. Remember, four different transformations. We have translations, we have reflections, rotations, and enlargements. Translation, and then the vector given.